Dajahawash the Kang Yun. Welcome back guys, it's Kang Yun. I'm in the middle of this co-op session as I left you off last time. Kinda let this guy hang, but he held himself alright. Um yeah. Get a cutscene here. This will be tricky. Ooh. But we handled it. That knight interrupted me. How rude of him. Okay. Yeah. The reason why I'm never really too concerned about grass is because they have such good HP regen. So we never got invaded again. That's kind of uh, unfortunate. I was hoping we'd get another invader. So now we'll get this. One of the best cutscenes in Souls. Good work, man. I mean, he was a magician, so... Pretty easy. We got our body form back. So now we should be able to go get pure black in the valley. I'm trying to think of what I want to do with these souls, if I want to level up at all. I have so many. I do want to go get that crystal lizard, but I don't know. It's such a pain to go get that crystal lizard. I guess if I go from the back side, I can take out a lot of the enemies more easily. Uh, I want to go back anyways because I need to stock, restock on arrows and such. I can pull to it. I was worried sick. I was worried sick. Can we bring a hundred heavy arrows? Uh, 
Let's lower that a little bit. Mm, I want to bring more of this. Can we get 36 strength or faith? Yes, we can. We, can, we have just enough to go from 45 to 56. Ah, I don't know if I want to do that just yet, though. I mean, our weapon attack will go way up and our miracle power goes way up, but. And we get a lot of defense and uh, quite a bit of magic defense. And we can get another miracle slot, which I could use a tune cure. Hmm. I'm thinking if I want to go backwards through the valley, I could be in body form for some. Well, I shall await direct. I am here. I'm going to go try to kill that crystal lizard. Let me see. I was worried sick. Let me see how much more I need for this axe. We are indebted. The attack rating on this three, four. I mean, it's only plus three, and it's almost as strong as the Mirrodin Hammer. We just don't have enough. We don't have a lot of endurance, is the main thing. That makes us heavy. That might be a good idea to invest some points into endurance. How much does this weigh? That shield is lighter, but... Well, we're not necessarily going to use this axe just yet, but I'm... But I want to, uh... See how much more we need to upgrade it. I'm pretty sure all I need is chunks. chunks and I have two to get it to plus four and I'm guessing I'll need then what six to get it let me look let me just look in on the websites blessed crescent axe yeah, I'll need six, so I need eight more chunks. And I have plenty of shards, and I have enough pure, so I need... Yeah, I need eight more chunks. That shouldn't be too bad, because there's, there's a crystal lizard in the second part. In the swamp, and then there's the one. This is for when I'm a higher level, a higher level though, because it requires, it's heavier and it requires more strength to use, but this thing will be my strongest weapon once I do, when I do that. That attack is awesome. OK, 
Okay, well, we're not going to use that for now. Uh, if we do do the swamp, though, I kind of want to bring the Isterel for the poison resist. I was worried sick. But yeah. And Isterel isn't that heavy. Is it? No, it only weighs one unit. That's pretty light. How much does that axe weigh? Seven. The Great Axe. That's the Gateskin Axe. The Great Axe is ten. Club is one. The Mace and the Morning Star is two and a half. The War Pick is one and a half. Pickaxe is three. Great Club is five. All right. We are indebted to you. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try for that Crystal Lizard. try for that crystal lizard and we're gonna go from the back though because I'm pr I'm thinking I might have an easier time going from the back because it's kind of a pain to get there I do have to take out two giants I do have a lot of souls. But I can't think of anything I want to buy, and I don't really want to level up right now. And I can I can always get a ton of souls later, so like like I keep saying, I'm not too concerned about losing my souls. Weird going up this back, going up this and like mirrored. This is already a bizarre. Has so much health. They can drop stones of ephemeral eyes, but unfortunately, he didn't drop anything. this again for good measure because I'm pretty sure I didn't kill everybody up here did I or did I I didn't kill this guy those enemies that are there. That's a giant. Alright. 
marrow stone. Lots of four, four shards of marrow stone. Yeah, those things always tend, they seem to always drop two marrow stones. Okay, now time for more of these. These little guys are gonna drop from above. Yep. Yep, there's the other one. Okay, now time for rats. Down by the lady. How's that not hitting you? Did I just try to attack with the bow? Like, like, swing my bow. And they're dropping our stone. Is, now is the lady here? I'm gonna just flop on the thief's ring. If the old woman is not here. Oh, shoot. I didn't even see that guy. Is the old lady here? She is not. Yeah, once you kill the leechmonger, she moves to the second part of the world. So I can cast God's Wrath without having to worry about aggroing her. So we're gonna just blast this guy off. Did I aggro that crystal lizard? I really hope I didn't. I may have. It looks like I did. Dang it. Spawn. That's the thing. Looks like I have to use the thief's ring. Um, I don't know. We're gonna try this again. I don't know if that crystal lizard is gone for good or not. I'm not quite sure. But we're gonna put on the thief's ring when we get to that area. But that seemed to work out all right. I'm gonna bring some more spice. I was worried sick. I, I hope that crystal lizard isn't gone. That would be unfortunate. Because that would mean that's two spawns that we we haven't gotten it. 
And I really need those chunks. I mean, the other crystal lizards are easier to get than this one. But I just am hoping that... I was hoping that I could get some more chunks without having to... I suppose I want to kill all these crystal lizards as much as possible because I do want to make more blessed weapons than just this crescent axe, so I need as many chunks as I can get. And farming for chunks and is not easy, like, because there, uh, the, the, there's a shaman depraved one in the second part of this level. There's a couple of them. And they drop faint stone. She's stuck. Giant club. Don't need that. There's so many enemies in there. Oh no! Woo. Man, he doesn't even flinch when you hit him with that. Oh, he fell, great. Those enemies are terrifying. Like, you can't stun them, seemingly. Is there another one? What am I hearing? Those are the ones up there. You can only get those in pure white tendency. Looks like all of these drops. Marrow stone. Interesting. Okay, from here, we're gonna play it safe and use the thief's ring. I feel like I should be able to see Crystal Lizard. Oh yeah, there's some more guys that are gonna drop down here. Come on. off some of these rats. I 
I don't like that these guys are not dropping down because it usually means I can't tell if the crystal lizard is there. It doesn't look like it is. It's not here. That sucks. That really, that really sucks. But, alright. At least now we know that when. I kill the uh, dirty colossus when I come back for this. This is a pretty fail-safe way of getting getting there. I feel like I should have had the thief ring on the first time. So we can just warp. Yeah, that's a bummer that we lost that that crystal lizard spawn. I'm kind of. Uh, I'm a little upset about that, that but I guess it's not a huge deal because, like I said, I can get the other crystal lizards fairly. Mm, I feel like I should bring more. hundred and then I can just yeah we have so much HP regen we are indebted to you oh we want the uh, 
I was bring, a, bring a poison resist, actually. I have four of those. We are dead. Um. I guess we will. Attempt to get to the primeval demon, and well, I would have to kill Black Phantom. I have to kill Black Phantom. Uh, Salen Vinland, and she is not easy to kill. Because she's not easy to parry. You have to fight her in the swamp. Hmm. And it's, I'm not going to be able to do, do great damage to her. I'm not sure uh, how I'll handle that, actually. Because I do want to kill her to get pure white. Maybe we won't do that. That's actually not a huge priority for me right now. Maybe we'll do... We, maybe we will do Latria. Maybe we'll do Latria. For which I don't... I don't necessarily need arrows. Uh, it's Darrell. I was worried sick. But it only weighs one unit. It's not a big deal. Yeah, we want to do Latria. Do the tower. And I will be right.
All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Had to change out my controller. Take a bio break. Um, I was thinking of something. I can't see the northern lights if they're if they were visible from here because it's cloudy out. Um. I don't know if there's another ceramic coin here in pure white tendency. This level is so amazing. I mean, look at this. This atmosphere. How much you can see from just the beginning of the level. Oh, it's breathtaking. So we'll put on second chance. And... Yeah, we'll keep on with the... With the Mirrodin Hammer. They make you walk right up to the edge. Oh, it's... Oh man, that almost... I was like, what? Because it's uh, fractured mode. I'm like, why is it on this side? Generator ring. Yeah, my generator ring should be all right. and how much you can hear this heart beating and you can feel it on the controller. Man, that thing killed me. I was playing recklessly, but... <laughs> I'm going to turn off the, uh... One thing I think is kind of weird, because of the draw distance, you can see that these enemies down here are spawned in, even though they don't technically spawn in until the cutscene, when you drop the heart. That item up there is the rune sword and shield. 
the sword and shield that Ostrava uses. Um, if you kill his black phantom, if you kill his black phantom, he will drop it, but you, that won't be until the end of uh, Voltarian Palace. So you can get it here if you don't want to wait that long. And there's a uh, cro crossbow gargoyle up here. Oh, this is pure white. I, I keep forgetting that I'm in pure white. I keep thinking it's pure black, but that's... But that's, uh... Valley of Defilement. Now I want to go back the other way, yeah. Right? Yes. Man, this level is so eerie. Yeah, we'll get a bunch of spice in this level too. At heart, or whatever that is. Some sort of... There's like... I don't know, man. <laughs> that is some twisted stuff. <laughs> this is why this this level in Valley of Defilement, man, are like why I think Demon Souls is much darker in in all aspects of the word than Dark Souls is. I'm not trying. I'm not hating on Dark Souls at all. I love that game. I love all these games. But just Demon Souls has a special place in my heart, man. This is just a crazy game. Like, the closer you get to it, obviously the sound and then the controller pulses more intensely. Yeah, now if you drop... That was right around where I was. Yeah, the item is just over there. It's very easy to fall. Yeah, there's the item around the corner. And you can uh, just watch this guy. He'll. This is what you don't want to do. Now he went up too far. You want to go off at an angle. I'm not. I don't need to get that sword. It is a risky drop. I already have it. He's got a crossbow as well. That guy genuinely scared me. I mean, I know he's there, but I forgot. He's got black crossbow bolts. I don't remember them if they do that in the original. They do drop their crossbow, and I. It was one of the rarest drops in the game, and I remember getting it on my first playthrough of the remake. Uh, I don't like I'm like the third or fourth crossbow gargoyle I killed. We're getting pretty heavy, so we're gonna send some of this stuff back. This this weighs five, yeah. I don't need these bolts. So this is pure white. Yeah, pure white.
They always drop souls of a nameless soldier or, or something like that. Which implies that they're made from humans. Because, like I said, Latria. Latria is man made evil. Their bodies break apart, that's cool. In the original, they just became like. flopping. Like, their bodies were like annoyingly. They would get on, get in your, get in your way, and then they'd get stuck on you, and then you couldn't see stuff. Now, isn't the other way there's a stone of ephemeral eyes? Is that right? Oh no, that's further up. Oh, it's if you go past the lift, and then if you don't take the lift and go on the other side, there's a stone of ephemeral eyes. I think there's another gargoyle that's gonna ambush us on the stairs. I can, you can hear him, yeah. I remember doing this level in co-op years ago, like when I first played this game. I did this level in co-op with a couple of players, and like we all had bows, and everybody, and like we sniped all these gargoyles from like range. You can see them from down below, and you can. You can uh, shoot them down before you even get up here. Another one up here. Oh. Oh, that's me dead. I don't know why I chased him. I don't know why I chased him off. That was silly of me. But we didn't get too far, so... We'll keep going. I'm running low on time on this episode again, so... I don't know that I'll be able to actually... Uh finish this I might have to call it and continue in the next in the next episode here yeah having a bow in this level is so nice Three shot him, so that's good. I mean, well, it's good because I have enough stamina to do three swings if I have a full stamina bar. I would kind of like those souls back, but if I die, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, so there's that guy. That's They have a really strange AI, these gargoyles, which is part of why they're annoying to fight. Because, like for one, the crossbow guys, they just shoot at you and run away. What was that? Dying animation sound. And they will sometimes, like, they'll just fly away. You can tell they had a hard time with the enemy AI. 
when it came to uh, flying enemies. They like to back away a lot. But they have a guaranteed drop on those soul items. So, I mean, those souls are only worth, I think, two to four hundred. Like, fighting, the ones fighting the ones here, I do not like because of how close quarters this is and how the camera will often mess you up. I often just run past these guys. Is that like what they sound like after they die, I guess? I don't know. Oh. Yeah, let's not follow this guy off the edge this time. <laughs> So up here you see these guys casting the spell to hold the chain. That's uh... I wonder if you can shove them off. I've never tried doing this. I don't know why I'm doing this, but... I feel like, yeah, you can probably just shove him off. <laughs> this guy is closer to the edge, maybe we'll shove him off. Oh, or we'll just backstab him. <laughs> This, I think this is the spot where if you have pure white tendency, you can go all the way up here and get the key to Ridiel's cell. Yep. This board is just for whatever reason here in pure white and in any other tendency it's not there. And all that's up here is this, this key. Key to the second floor. Is that? That's the tower where you fight the monk? Hmm. 
Well, we'll make our way down to the yurt up ahead, and then I'm going to have to call it. I'm getting tired, and I'm just about at time. This is so high up, man. The scale of this level is so cool. They've never been able to recreate the atmosphere in this level or the Valley of Defilement and the other Souls games. So now you can take this uh, cage down, you can take one of these down, but you can also come over here. There's some prism stones that are guiding you. Stone of sort of arch stone. You can talk to this guy. Are you here to fight the demons? If so, then help me escape this place. I am on your side. I have come to face the demons. And then he'll just walk around here, and he won't leave until you actually kill the man-eaters. And then when you do, he will go back to the Nexus. And, uh, you'll find some corpses in the Nexus. Suspiciously, just random corpses. And, uh, yeah. I guess I'll explain more about this guy in the next episode. So, we're gonna have to end it here. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. This is one of the coolest levels in all of all in, in any video game, in my opinion. Um, so please leave a comment, like, subscribe if you haven't already. Oh, I will remember this. I am certain we will meet again. And. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next one. Umbasa.